And good morning, everybody. PC Outcast here, and we are live with a new episode of Augustus Tiberius Caligula as he continues to uh, try to strengthen himself to be able to actually face the darkened foes. Hello, Lucian, GG, Magus, Unlimited Power. Glad to see you guys could stop by today. So we're starting off two hours early. Can you believe I actually got up? I probably sound like it. <laughs> Hello, Dragon's Blood. It is kind of early. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf and start streaming a little earlier and possibly more often. Don't say you, hear, you heard it here, though. Yes, unlimited power. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, or night, or whatever it is where you are. Hope you guys are doing well. So the plan for today is to um, get ourselves some more money, basically. Hello, Magus. Uh, coffee. That's a good idea. Unfortunately, I don't really like coffee, but the caffeine... <laughs> is more than welcome. Um, yeah, so I need more money because I want to buy some new spell books and we have an order of void salts which I'm imagining is going to be fairly expensive. We got to get that and then there's probably other ingredients we need to get our uh, final set of armor, so that's the plan. Unlimited power currently 4 in the afternoon. That's not too bad. Are you working? Are you at home? Are you done work? Are you in school? I'm just curious. I'm always curious about the uh, s s people who stream um, in the like in the morning for their time zone. Like, do they have people who are? I mean, I guess it depends on what you're streaming, what your audience is, whether they've. But I'm like. If it's during school, then if you have a whole a bunch of kids as your subscribers, then they're not going to be watching you probably, unless they're watching on your on their phones. Um, but yeah, more I'm curious. Like, are is it people who are not working, are in other time zones and are off work, or is it people watching from work? This is an amazing time for you to watch. Perfect. Of course, you're in Europe, yeah? So 4 o'clock is it's actually a really good time. Anyway, we need to do a few more quests to get some more money. So I think uh, collecting an heirloom is a good one. Hunting a vampire. That's a pain. Gathering things. Tundra cotton. Spider eggs. Delivering potions. I mean, I could do that. I think that's kind of in two different directions, though. Kynes Grove and the other one. These actually, these delivery things actually make a lot of money. We should probably do a delivery uh, playthrough at one point. <laughs> There's also jobs of Skyrim, but I find that they pay a lot of money. I think you'd have to go in and edit the uh, edit the actual. F uh, mod file because they, it doesn't have an MCM for that and they pay way too much money compared to missives and you just end up super filthy rich just like delivering potions around but it does have a cool thing where it, it's like people can place orders for things like armor and stuff like that so if you want to play a, a blacksmith that's kind of cool anyway um, so we got a thing in Mara's No, that's that's the delivery uh, there in Mara's uh, pond Mara's eye pond yeah unfortunately that's kind of in the opposite direction to Kynes Grove although we could maybe go down here and then cross over there's a, there's a bridge here added by I don't know if it's cut content or what Gillian hey PC what's the plan for today just joined in um, basically we want to make some more money because I want to buy some more um, spell books and 
Um, finish up my armor. Finish up the, the stuff that I need for the armor. So we're going to run around doing a couple of quests. Uh, also, one of the main things we're going to do is this additional um, this, like side boss battle at Witch's Overlook. So that's, that's a major plan for today. Finally put some in effort in ported Lost Grim... You ported Lost Grimoire? <gasps> oh my. Okay. Post a link to that on my Discord, please. I'd like to check it out. That sounds awesome. Okay, let's just go ahead and do this, uh, this potion delivery. I guess I need to get it from these guys, probably. Yeah, we're still working towards our new armor set, and um, I want to talk to some people in Riften about... Is it you? Yeah. Uh, about um, some new spell books. I want to I want to get some of the triumvirate, some more of the triumvirate spells going. So that is that plan. I'm here about the delivery job. Of course. Can't guarantee quality, but sure. Well, thanks. We'll give it a shot. Hello, Simon Say44. Glad you could join us this morning. And yes, for anybody wondering, it is early. Definitely earlier than usual. Oh, you don't actually have it. Um, you haven't posted it on like Nexus or anything yet. Uh, yeah, you can, um, I think you'll have to upload it. I don't think you can just put the file in there. I think you'll have to, uh, post it some, like, on some file sharing thing and then have a link to that. Maybe, um, Google Drive or something like that. It's pretty cool, though. Good work, man. Lost Grimoire has been lost to Legendary Edition for a long time. Hello, Naya. Glad you could stop by. Is this a good time for you? Unlimited Power is just saying how this is actually a great time for me to be streaming. In case you guys are wondering, um, the reason I'm streaming this time is the plan. Now, don't don't hold me to this, but the plan is to stream Monday to Friday from 10 to 12. All right, that is the grand plan. That's what I'm that's what I'm aiming for. Huh? Hello, random female uh, Nord that I just happened to. Oh no, female Imperial. That I just happen to know that this potion is for you. Thank you. Here, this is for you. 4 p.m. If you weren't working, then it would be fine. Until next time. Well, I'm glad you can stop by at least. Ooh, I got some lag there. What's going on there? Okay, so that mission is complete. We, uh, how are we doing for money? Yeah, we might be getting pretty close, actually. I'm... Uh, hello. Random male Breton. What, what is it? What, why is everybody running? 
Yeah, I think we might actually be getting close to being able to pay for those void salts. Would be nice. I like this time. Stream every day is exciting, isn't it? It is very exciting. Um, is there maybe a more <laughs> less falling and breaking our ankles way down there? There we go. I feel like that bridge is not quite rendering in properly. And are my, my guys with... Oh. Don't know what happened to... Oh, there she is. Oh. Oh, that doesn't have pathing over it. Ha! Huh, that's pretty funny. I'm like, wait, why didn't you just use the... Oh, there's no pathing. Gotcha. You are hungry. Um, yes, just let's just eat some stew while we stand on the road. Jackson, working second shift mornings are always a great time. All right, all right. So I, I take it, are you in uh, Eastern time zone, Jackson? Yeah, LOD, warn LOD uh, rendering is always a mess. I, my favorite is when you have, like, a house or something off in the distance there that renders perfectly, and everything around it is just flat. There's, <laughs> there's no trees. There's no rocks. There's no grass. It's just this house just sitting, looking like it's kind of floating. The ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. 4 p.m. in Poland. Technically still at work, but shh. I'll, well, I'll try not to be too loud in my, uh, in my commentary. <laughs> Should I go up that way? Dragon's Blood works nights, so being able to watch 10 to 12, which is 9 to 11 for me, will work just fine. Awesome. I'm glad it works for so many of you guys. It's awesome. I know that um, they say that 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time is a is a good time to uh, stream on Twitch anyway. I don't know, but YouTube on Twitch it's a good uh, a good time to stream because there's the highest ratio of viewers to streamers. Like not a lot of streamers stream early in the morning. So whatever perks of working from home. Yeah, man. Let's just uh deal with this infestation I got going on here. I still need like some sort of ranged damage. Oh, he got me. Okay. Uh, and before we go in there, since we have um, like a fair number of people in uh, in chat, I wanted to read a message quickly, donation message from our buddy GG Jolteon69. He made this donation um, like in between streams, so he says, um, "Hey, this is only about half of what I want to do, lol. But I need to be able to work again before I'm able to donate again. <laughs> I hope you and GGG have a Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or whatever you guys celebrate." I uh, love your content and the amazing community you've put together, Hearts. And he donated what it worked out to be $108.90 Canadian. 
which I think is around about like $85 American, something like that. Anyway, thank you very much, GG, for the huge, huge support. And uh, as I said in my private message to you, please don't overdo it. If you're uh, struggling or anything like that, you know, I know you've been off work with your knee injury. So, uh, you know, don't push it, but I appreciate your, uh, your support. And uh, yeah, man, thanks to everybody. Well, you don't have to donate money either. Just watching is a huge, huge benefit to the channel and uh, I appreciate it. It helps me to, uh, to uh, you know, be inspired to keep going. Yeah, very generous, Magus. I'm like, whoa, man. Anyway, totally, totally awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think there's vampires in here, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's vampires. One down. Just like that. Oh, 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 oh. get wrecked. I think I may have dealt an injury to my foe's leg. <laughs> yes. Oh, vampire trophy. Nice. We can turn that in. Um, let's see if the other one has one. Another vampire trophy. Fantastic. I don't feel right about this stuff. Hey, GG, you just missed my uh, my reading of your donation message and my my profuse thank yous. So everybody else heard it. They're like, and Magus is like, wow, generous. So thank you very much, GG. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, which am I looking for? Ah, there, the fur bracers. And it looks like a vigilant. That's unfortunate. Jillian can confirm. Chad GG. <laughs> yeah, I was just uh, I was saying to you, I hope your uh, knee is feeling better and you're able to uh, get back to work. But kind of, it's nice uh, being off work, but it also sucks because then you don't have any money. <laughs> And having a a messed up knee stinks too. Okay, so that's that. Hey, Ray's glad you could stop by. Even if you're not able to uh, hang out as much as possible, you know, work. What can you do, right? Yeah, this character is still going. And hello, Gordon. Welcome to the stream. So I was saying a little earlier, I might as well repeat it. Um, I The plan is to start streaming five days a week at 10 a.m. Eastern time, 10 to, to 12 probably. Um, I'd like to do it earlier, but for right now, this is about as early as I can manage.
Oh, awesome. Congratulations, Gigi. I'm I'm mostly happy that your knee is just feeling better. Being able to get back to work is good too, but I'm just glad your knee is okay. This character par partly inspired my current character, Imperial Battle Medic. Though the game glitched out immediately and I had to clear out Fort Haragstad. Ah! Oh, you can't, you can't clear out for, uh, Haragstad. That sucks. Hey, Jimmy! Good morning. How are you doing? So, we're basically on a mission to make uh, some more money right now. I think we might be pretty close. I think I'm gonna go ahead and when we're done turning this quest in, um, yeah, yeah, we'll go up to Windhelm, turn that quest in, uh, get the void salts, then we'll head down to Riften. I want to start the, um, as the title of the stream suggests, I want to start the Book of Love quest. Ooh, PC coming in. Let's start on the YouTubes. Nice. Are you going to start, uh, like, streaming or recording or anything like that? Skyrim for the Nords. He doesn't trust what he calls outsiders. That's right. Skyrim just works. Nothing more, nothing less. Now have to restart and use living of another life to skip that and get straight into the Legion. Okay, cool. But I make no promises that I can. Yeah, I used um, Skyrim Unbound to start out as an Imperial for the Shadowborn playthrough, but uh, that makes all the storm cloaks hostile to you so i couldn't enter into like several cities skyrim for the nords types um well i'm yes outsiders like me have no place here i don't know i think everyone should be welcome and you're right at least as far as i'm concerned don't let ulfric or some of these other short-sighted nords bother you most of Todd promises that vanilla Skyrim just works. Does not promise that it will work with mods. I have your fur bracers. Thank you. Here, this is for you. 500 gold? Holy. Okay, then. And I'm gonna take the- I might as well take the boat, right? We're closer to the boat. I think I'm gonna do streams mostly, but there are a few things I wanna do that won't- I won't be able to do as a stream. Cool. Be sure to let me know when you're up and running. I'd like to check it out. Um... Which one of these, if any? Oh, it's that guy over there. I'm like, wh do any of these uh, guys actually work as, you know, ferrymen? I could take you to any port on the coast. I would like to hire your boat. Where are you headed? I want to go to Winterhold. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. It breaks if you use mods, but you need you need mods to stop it from breaking. Oh yeah, okay, we're at the bottom of the hill. Gotcha. Oh no, I've got I have to get into Windhelm for East Empire Quest to get my companion of choice, so I can't have all Stormcloaks hostile, yeah. 
Yeah, I had to... Well, I had to win the Civil War to be able to get into Windhelm at all. I mean, I, I, you can sneak in. If you're very sneaky, you can get in and do, do it like that. Otherwise, good luck. Uh, oh, it's night time. Hope she's still working. Fifty percent of Naya's mod lust is a mod that fixes some sort of bug. <laughs> Accurate. Yes. Okay, I have some juniper berries for you. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Don't know how much that was, but oh, 50 gold. Okay. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Sort of. I want to buy. Uh, let's go to ingredients. Void salts. Um, how many do I need now? I need all four. Hmm? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Oh yeah. yeah, I was not wrong about them being expensive. There we go. Big chunk of Good gold day. gone. Okay, that is done. I believe we are good to go as far as uh, our armor is concerned. Of course, you know what will probably end up happening is we did we did need that one extra one of each salt. Hello, Daniel. Glad you could join us. Um, I'm gonna just spend the night here, I think. Get some food. Oh, I think we can research tr uh, transmute. And of course we need to pray. Always need to pray. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Well, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, refill the bottles. Of course. And then I would like to buy food some food. For the food for the hungry. Some cabbage potato soup. Fish soup. A horker loaf. No bread. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, give me an ale. And maybe a snowberry crostata. That sounds good. And I'd like to rent your room. Thing. It's yours for a day. All right, then. I believe it's one of these rooms. It's probably this one. Nope. <laughs> it's that one. Okay, good. Uh, how are we doing for hunger and things like that? Peckish, slightly tired, quenched. Yeah, we didn't probably just... Hello, you look very impressive. Uh, let's go ahead and read for a little bit. I see you. Do some research. What's the purpose of passing? Passing what? I love how uh, his hand goes right through the book. I'm just going to grip really fiercely onto this book as I read it. We've only learned 12% grief. And let's do a little prayer. It's not, not super private here, but... Ooh, favor is 190.3. All right. Take that. And we'll sleep through to 630. 
Jimmy with $20. Thank you for the support, my dude. Thanks for all the content, PC. Merry Christmas and happy Saturnalia to everyone. It's a lot of uh, Saturnalia uh, celebr celebrate. No. What's the word I'm looking for? I was going to say celebrators. Doesn't make any sense. A lot of people who observe Saturnalia these these days. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you for the uh, support and the well wishes. Hope you have a great holiday and enjoy any time off from work or school or anything like that. Okay, let's eat some delicious fish soup. There we go. Could I could still use more? I guess we're... Oh, I meant to drink the ale last night. Ah. Uh, Celebrants? Celebrants. Celebrants? I'm gonna, I guess I'll have a snowberry crostata for breakfast. It's a filling meal, too. Can you imagine? Celebrators? Oh, I still have that milk, too. Forgot about that. Huh. Saturnalia is Skyrim's Christmas. Uh, Saturnalia used to be uh, observed in ancient Rome, right? Before they became Christians, I think. Yes, Roman equivalent. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Um, okay, so I'm going to read a little bit more. Of this before we head out and thank you dragon's blood I'll uh, I'll have five as soon as we do this I need an f5 emoji or emote what is the difference between an emote and an emoji is there one so just two different names for the same thing Oh, and our favor is declined. Oh, no. It's hard to keep uh, Stendar happy. Half elf, half elf, ancient Falmer descendant who claims himself as a Helomancer, which is sun magic, right? And worships Ariel. Oriel. That sounds cool. Emoji is an emote, but not all emotes are emojis. Okay. At least I think. <laughs> Alright, let's head to... Did I have five? Just in case. Emojis are those with a face. Okay. But not all emotes have faces. Gotcha. They are funny faces on the internet. Thanks, Rez. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Naya. So even when you just use uh, text, the text equivalent, that's still in emote. But the emoji is the one that's like an actual graphic. Pray to Todd Howard and Oriel in this order that AE handles uh, Adamant and other Simon Magus room mods. Yes. I don't know, that sounds fine to me now. I will accept your explanation as gospel. Good morning. That is now the, the current gospel of the Church of Smite. Where are you headed? We are going to 
Uh, oh, you can't take me there. That's unfortunate. Well... It's a bit roundabout, but we'll go to... Solitude Lighthouse? Well, we're gonna go to Solitude and we'll take the... Take the carriage from there, I guess. Technically, they're both abbreviations of emoticon. Emoji is just more diminutive and cute. Don't think there's a real difference. Okay. Seems reasonable. A life on the river makes for good things. Ooh, there's a new adamant add-on. So it took us two hours to get here. Yes. And now Where do you want to go? we're gonna go completely to the other side of the map. No, just straight to Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be off. You might run into some of them lizard folk in Riften. Quite a few of them work the docks there. Not sure why. Oh, they that is extremely racist against Argonians. Yeesh. And Freaky's already uh, resting. Uh, okay, let's talk to Mar Do I talk to Maramel to start uh, the quest? I need to talk to Maramel about uh, possible books anyway. Spell books. Best kind of books. Combines lock picking and pickpocking in, into one and adds a new hand to hand perk tree. Oh, that sounds good. Are you. Of Mara upon you. Ah, perfect. Just the man. I want to know more about the temple. Um, do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. I'd like to donate five gold. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Problem with AE is that the ESMs and BSA archives got changed to accommodate the new CC content. And of course, of course that messed everything up. In particular landscapes and nav meshes. Nice. Um, oh yes, you have things for sale that I definitely want. Aura of Thorns, Aura of Vigor. See, like, look at this. Uh, caster and living or undead allies reflect 50 fire and sun damage in melee, released to heal for 100 points. Uh, aura of Vigor. I guess these are concentration spells? Probably. Caster and living or undead allies heal 15 points, released for two seconds of invulnerability. Caster and living or undead allies gain 40% more attack damage. This basically turns you into a support character, like a support healer. Regeneration, no. Target up to level 15 is hidden from this world, eh? Nearby people are drawn to the caster. Caster Spouse is more powerful. Sunfire. Diagnose. Vital property. Reveal the vital properties of a target. A living or undead ally gains 30 point bonus to all skill levels while you concentrate.
Yeah, I'm actually thinking about doing an unarmed build after, um, uh, and, well, an unarmed playthrough after Shadowborn. Like a one-punch type of uh, build. It's been a while. Anybody have a good, uh, some good arena mods? Because that would be, you know, it could be like a brawler. Hey, Mr. B, how's it, how's it going? I actually called you Mr. B and not Master B. Can you believe that? Amazing. For once. Yeah, combining pickpocket and lockpicking into one is a really good idea. Because, uh, as you said, Naya, they're, they're often not... I mean, a lot of the perks are not really ne that necessary. And if you're going for a thief, you're probably going to go a little bit into both of those anyway, right? So. So these are all concentration spells, unfortunately. Okay, there is another... There is another spell seller... Seller... So, Enora uh, Snowshod? I'm not sure who that is, but I have to try and find her. Can you tell me about Mara's beliefs? Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion... Well, let's call Mr. B Mistress B Still to make things simpler. Wait, wait. Times. How? But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Okay. And can you tell me more about the temple? Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. And Mr. DB does play. For all the loving couples in Skyrim. I could have a wedding here. Not that my line of work really lends itself to settling down, but... Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Uh, not really. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Can you imagine? It is like... May you return to her... Just walk around with the I'm available sign and, uh, you know, sooner or later... Somebody will be like, yeah, baby. Lady Mara bids you okay, that is not... Oh, wait, you maybe? Seek, my child? Which of the eight, eight divines do you serve? Well, that's we kind of obvious. To the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Ooh, Sanguine, one w that made m alcohol restore stamina and health. Perfect for drunken brawler. Man, that sounds cool. <laughs> Amulet of Mara equals Skyrim Tinder, <laughs> exactly. Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? Absolutely. What can I do? The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl, her Fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Cool. And just noticed that uh, my mic is picking up everything, even if I'm not talking. Whoops, I forgot. To enable... Whoops, that's not the right thing. To enable noise gate. That should help a little bit. 
The problem with that is it'll it'll pick up my speakers and you guys might hear a slight uh, reverb. So, okay, Book of Love is a go. Does anybody know where Snowshot is? Save. Meet hot Civil War widows in your area. <laughs> Scam? What? You mean there's there's scams that would prey upon people's need for love? That's despicable. I'm hoping that Snowshot is maybe in the in here somewhere. Hey, Casso. Been a while. Good to see you. I'm doing well. Um, Nuriel. Welcome to Riften, traveler. Lawgiver. The road fared well Sorry, I shouldn't have just canceled that. Ah, that's Unmund. Unmid. Unmid. I'm telling you, He's a snow shod, but that is it's so well his it's his own. wife or sister that I'm looking for, I think. Um Mara damn the scammers. It's not a scam, it's a pyramid scheme. Get it right. I'm assuming. Oops. I'm, I'm assuming Nura is a is a woman. I guess that's assuming a lot, actually. Oath giver. Hmm. Okay. Not anybody in the Jarl's palace. Is it's not the. Uh, it's not the woman that that runs that uh, is is the assistant to the at the orphanage, is it? Oh. Ah, just snap my ankles. Big Mama Becky Thirty Ross, that is quite the handle. Hello, just relaxing today, enjoying your stream while I play Skyrim, my favorite game, however. Hope everyone is doing well. Yep, apparently you've achieved maximum peak humanity. I guess it would be peak humanity when you are watching a stream of a game that you're currently playing. That is apparent. Apparently you have arrived at that point. Hello. Hello. You really shouldn't be here. Why? Um, is Grelot always like that? Sadly, yes. Even the town's That's Constance. Thank you. Grella Thanks, Magus. Her very existence has become something of a running joke. Grelot runs this orphanage because she's old and set in her ways and doesn't know any other life. These children need love and comfort. I try, but I'm sorry. You should go. The children aren't up for adoption, and it's cruel to get their hopes up. Besides, Grelot hates visitors. I can't adopt one of the children from the orphanage. Let's just can can I just confirm that? I'm sorry, no. Grelot is the headmistress here, and she's decided not to allow any adoptions right now. I prefer Grelot the dead. I wish things were otherwise. All of these children deserve a better home, but there's nothing I can do. Hi. Look at this, the kids actually look great. They're not 
deformed. Sorry, the children aren't up for adoption right now. They're not deformed like my modded playthroughs usually do. So what? You gotta get me out of here. Ever since the vent is flooded, Hello? What do you want? You have no business being in here. Greetings. Need something? Um, your mother is a horker. <laughs> your boots are untied. You expect me to believe that? Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, how do I find... How do I find dirt on her? Besides the fact that she's just an unpleasant person in general. What is going on in here? Shackles. Her mother really is a horker. <laughs> I can't believe the bot is cr is uh, catching horker. Your mother is a horker comments. Really. Amazing. Don't mind me while I snoop around in your highly suspicious home. Ooh. Forlorn shadows. Thank you, Magus. Massively appreciated for your help. Bot. Okay, I... Yeah, you always just kill her, but I can't kill her. That would uh, destroy epic restoration. That's why I have an alternate to Innocence Lost. But I don't know... I can report her, but I'm not sure exactly how it works. Out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, fella who wrote that cookbook. Twitch flags got. Okay. Good day. Okay, I can't. Um, I can't do it there. Maybe I have to talk to Aventus to start that quest. Yeah, like I installed, I deliberately installed an alternate to Innocence Lost so that I could have. Grelot arrested instead of killed, which I thought was kind of cool. Alright, anyway, we're still looking for Nora Snowshod. You're gonna buy something? Grelka. Otherwise, move on. Please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that so bad? Nope, nope, all the nope. Somebody in here? If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull Helga's her dad, and there's a horker tusk in her, and the horker tusk is her mom. <laughs> She made that Debella statue herself? Maybe behind the Temple of Mara? Oh, maybe. Um, well, while we're here. Julian. Good Julianne. Uh, no. Maven. Okay. Hmm. Fugitive. So many innuendos. Need something. Can't. Until next. She's a fugitive. Do I actually have a quest to get a to capture a fugitive? No. Apparently, I'm supposed to steal a statue from the Temple of Debella. There's a citizen I need to save in Lost Knife, which glitched out last time. 
Shackles, Harker Tusks, Stamina Potions, Gold on the Floor, it just... It's all so wrong. Hello, Ben. Oh, is it is it her? her? They say yes. The college has been snooping Fantastic. Mages in the burial crypt. No good can come of that. What can you tell me about Telos? He's the protector of man, the dragon of the north, the patron of all Norths, and despite the Imperials and their treaty. He will always be one of the Nine Divines. A devout Nord would rather fall in battle and have his blood spill upon the earth than allow the Empire to strike his name from the Divinity. Yeah, I guess if there's if there's notes and like a journal detailing everything, it's not really an innuendo at that point. Eh? Well, the hatred for the Empire. Talos is part of our culture. He's part of our heritage and our tradition. He's Skyrim personified. To suddenly have all that wrenched away is like losing someone you hold dearly in your heart. The Empire already took my daughter from us, but by Talos, they will not take our homeland. Okay. Um, what if do you, you have for sale? Ah, she should have some good stuff, I hope. Spirit Storm. Spirit Swarm, Spirit Swarm, oh, is it Spirit Storm or Spirit Swarm? A Spirit Swarm, Storms, draining 60 points of magic and stamina per second. When both are depleted, it drains health instead. Man, that's nice. That is beyond our capacity to buy, though. We've got Visions of Healing already. I'm not doing any of the poison stuff. I don't need that. Devotion? Caster's spouse is more powerful, yeah. And we still have that here prayer, which we actually need to do another here prayer one. Anyway, I want this, but I need more money, sadly. Oh, wait, you get another. What happened to your daughter? I trained our daughter Lilia as a healer to one day tend the shrine of Talos and replace me as a priestess of Talos. When the fighting began over the white gold concordat, she ran off to join the Stormcloaks. She had her father's fire. How could I say no? She died out there, only having tended to the wounded soldiers for a few months. We never even found her body. The Empire burned all the dead. Yeah. Talos guide you. Damn. Okay. Well, at least I found the person I was looking for. Um, and I do want that spell. So we will uh, we'll do that later when we have a little bit more money. For now, um, well, I guess we could, we could run off to uh, Witch's Overlook. Oh, we have, yeah, we get, need to talk to Fastrad in Iverstead anyway. So we'll take the uh, carriage there. Oh, that works out well. Hope you sort out your uh, mod issue there, Ben. 160. I wonder how many I have uh, going on this. Let's take a look about. 172. This is probably one of my more heavily modded playthroughs, actually. Need something? Where do you want to go? Climbing back, and we'll be off. The 
you ever met one of them cats? Yeah, Helga. Helga and her niece. Yeah. That Helga. Does she treat the... Does she actually treat... Is there any evidence of her treating her better if you do that quest? I could use a nap. Okay, great. Actually, what I'm going to do is just use the washroom. I will be right back, guys. Hang on a second. I'm back. See you later, GG. Thanks for stopping by, and thank you once again for the very generous donation in between uh, the stream and the last one. Uh, I hope... I'm going to have to set up uh, stream elements so that if um, somebody wants to make a donation through PayPal, it actually shows up on the stream. Alright, let's talk to... Astrid. Are you the one sent by Mara? How do you know? How could you possibly know that? I prayed to Mara and she spoke to me in a dream. She said a stranger would appear to help me. Is that you? Yes, what seems to be the trouble? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. I think I love him, but he wants to move to Riften afterwards, and my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. You sound slightly confused. Are you sure you love him? I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. Okay. Mm Hello. There must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Frothgar. No other reason to pass through here. What can you tell me about High Rothgar? It's frightening living below their monastery. Sometimes I swear I can hear strange noises rolling down from up there. It sounds like thunder, but there's never any rain. What do you make of that? I have no idea. Your daughter asked me to speak to you. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. I don't ah. tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Faster to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. What do you think would inspire them to leave? Bassianus is still so terrified of Yolfthor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Faster to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Hmm. Okay. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. Magus is going from Altmer Lich to Nord Ranger. Wow. That is a switch. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Right, right. Um. Can I ask you about High Rothgar? They call it the path to the monastery to 7,000 steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. 
I guess that's reasonable. Uh, your daughter asked me to speak with you. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clement. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Why do you want her to stay so badly? Look around here. There's not much left. It used to be a good-sized town. Folks have been moving to Rifton for a while. Draugr oil the keeps them young and living. <laughs> and once your once your character gets a little bit too OP, then you gonna you gotta start over, right? You, so, do you think that your daughter is just gonna get over Bassianus? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He needs some convincing. A little push, and this would all be simpler. Uh, I don't know. You know, I feel. Nothing for anyone. I feel kind of bad about this. I'm sure Bassianus is probably no good. He wants to take her to Riften, for heaven's sake. Riften's not exactly the greatest place on earth. I should probably talk to said boy and, um, and this Clemic guy. Hello? Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? Uh, you seem quite happy. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? Okay. I mean, sure. You like chopping wood and find that satisfying? I mean, good, honest, hard work. Anything about, uh, do you know anything about the monastery up in the top of the mountain? Odd, there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there, but I bet the Greybeards know. Dragon's Blood's uh, OP character right now is Breton Mage. Only level 13 and can face dragons on expert. So, yeah. Have yourself a great day. Thank you. That's what I did with this character, right? I had, uh, I was getting murdered on, uh, I think I was playing on, did I start on Legendary? I think I started on Legendary. Dropped it down to, to X to master and then all the way to expert and then started getting stronger and stronger and went back the other way. Who is this? Uh, hello? Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. You make deliveries to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is... The irony of a Bosmer taking joy in wood chopping in, no kidding. Oh, it's not in Valenwood, therefore it's okay. I'm... Can't really help you with that right now. I'm not heading up that way. Maybe I'll hold off and go another day. Get some rest first. Uh, I hear you lost Fastrid to some upstart boy. Oh, Fastrid. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. Maybe she appreciates an assertive man. What did you call me? I mean that you should be bold. <laughs> Never mind. I think she probably wants a more cultured man. <laughs> uh, I mean, you should be more bold, you know. Wait, you mean I should just tell her? 
her? Tell her how I feel? Um... Yes, I mean, what do you have to lose? Peasmere's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. Oh. Well, let's see how this goes. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll? No, no one stole my sweet roll. What? Is she in here? I have something to say to you. Yes. Clement? What is it? I don't want you to leave Iverstead. Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, Clement. Good to see you. Come on in. Our only child boat. Well, Am I to throw it to the wolves? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Slightly fickle, but uh, hey. Oh. Hey, how are you guys doing? Um. I need you to pitch in a little more. Daughter's driving you crazy. So forgive me if I don't think you have to worry about it. I know your sights are set beyond this town. Get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. But yes, you mother. you want your daughter to stay so desperately. You're telling people you who are coming through, don't right stay away, here. Like, problem. leave. No Get out of here. here. Yeah, I always kind of, I kind of feel bad for Clemek, right? What is it now? But he's not yeah, exactly the sharpest tool in the shed either, so I, I don't know. <laughs> now I can marry her because I did a favor. Oh, good grief. Yeah, when I meant uh, you should tell her how you feel, what I meant is I'm gonna take her. Oh yeah, I don't know. She's a little bit too uh, too flighty for my taste. Welcome to the Inn. If and this uh, this is uh, the guy, the other guy. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Oh, you're pleasant. <laughs> I guess his uh, his mood kind of soured after he lost Astrid. News travels fast. That pickup line about the fish. Picks up crown, gives to Clemic King. You drop this. Hey there. Hey! <laughs> um, actually, probably load up on some more food. Apple dumplings, oh yeah. A red apple and a salmon steak. Nice. All right, where does that put us? Slightly thirsty, slightly tired. Uh, so we don't have the bonuses. But we might be able to handle a side mission. Jimmy always backs the good simple lad. <laughs> uh, we're gonna definitely do a hard save. And then we're gonna go face whatever is over there. Hello, Karn. Glad you could join us. You're just in time for a side battle from Vigilant. I'm gonna go and uh, go into the Witch's Overlook and see what we're supposed to do over there. I do have some assistance, so. Now, getting at this place is always a little tricky. Is there a bear down here, by the way? No. Not today? Good.
Not that way. Oh, that would be pretty cool. He ends up joining the Thieves Guild afterwards. <laughs> Alright, is this... Is it this or... No, 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 it's on the other side of us. Yes, I remember. Your dad's like, I knew it! I knew it, he was no good. Okay, here we are. So, in the creepy, foggy wood. By the way, are my... Okay, you guys are able to make your way in here. Oh, so he he does actually join the Thieves Guild? Un I, I guess unofficially, because you never see him there, right? You learn that if you listen to his conversations with Will Willem and whatever the barkeep's name is. Oh. Huh. Or do you just learn that he has no plan? Oh, hello. That would appear to be a hag raven. Um, hello? Mace, are you good there? Um, let's save here in case we need to call on assistance. You see, Outcast only reads half the message. He's afraid of change. I'm afraid of change. He's no good, but has lots of money. How do, so how does he have a lot of money? Where does that, uh, where does that come from? Is he already a thief? Is that how he got the money? Does he come from a rich family? I think I'm gonna do affinity on uh, Doggo. Nice hat. Oh well, well. Looks like your curse got lifted. The old fool must have gone soft-hearted. I kill you, witch. Um, you knew from the very beginning, didn't you, about me? What would happen to this family? Who are you? Me. I am Raida. He's very stylish. Witch. I have a steady mind. All people and beasts here belong to me. Did you know what would happen from the beginning? That's right. So what? Are you blaming me? You are the one who killed them, not me. You are the villain here. I just watched as promised, and perhaps made the fog a bit thicker. Though I could spare myself the latter, thanks to the old fool. He chops wood all day. Every piece worth five. Fortune if you do it the whole day. <laughs> do you serve Molek Ball? Now that's hard to say. I dance with another every day. I play hard to get. <laughs> Hat Traven. I kill you, witch. Haven't you had enough of killing a woman and her child? Your own friend. And your bloodlust is still not sated. 
Now you want to kill a poor old woman, too? Well, go ahead. Try. You will die lamenting your own weakness. Okay. Come on. Oh, she's got a lot of health, man. Um, I don't suppose she's she's not undead, eh? Don't suppose she would take damage from uh from uh Stender Zora. Oh, what is what? Vision is an opportunity. It's amusing how this is all. None of this would have happened if not for you. Oh, do you really have to keep on about it? This is crazy. <laughs> oh, these guys are from Shivering Isles. I forgot all about them. I have no stamina potions. don't have a whole lot of stuff to help doing. So I'm to, um, I'm Even if it ever has been, then why would the innocent suffer and the wicked prosper? Sorry. Oh. Uh, is this just sort of endless like this, or uh, can she just keep healing herself? Ow. Disappearing. Your eyes now. You touch the stone, didn't you? Ah. No wonder you are so persistent. I can smell your burnt soul. You are no longer just another mortal. You are a monster. Now 
No, she just keeps healing. Get her down to 3,000 health and then she just... And now, my dog and my... What are you guys doing over here? Stop once your super villain thing ends. That'd be great. Oh, yep, definitely getting lower on the health. Did I win? No. Have mercy. Ah. Please don't kill me. I'll do anything you want. I was deceived by Molag Bal. I had no idea what would happen. It's true. Please. What do you mean by burnt soul? Your black soul found the gates of oblivion. That gate will swallow you from the inside sooner. I mean, she is already. pretty stylish, Karen. You're already trapped in oblivion. No one ever escapes, and neither will you. Enjoy your time here while you still can. She might be Narfi's sister? Oh. Huh. That is interesting. Or at least they have the same name. What stone are you talking about? Your friend really taught you nothing. Pathetic. I got stop laughing at you. <laughs> that stone is Molag Bal. You know, the demon who violated that need bitch. From a mortal to the beast, caught in an endless fall. What do you guys think? Let her go, tell her to get lost, uh, or finish her off. Smite, smite, smite. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Genocide run. Don't you have any mercy, you damn bastard? I'll rip off your head. Oh, no, yeah. Ah. Uh, let's do affinity. And a little bit of extra health doesn't hurt. Uh, visions of healing. Oh, she got visions of healing on her. Oh, one shot to the knee. And one shot to the midriff. And apparently she's cursed us now. Ooh, yeah, we'll take that. Witch doll. Ooh, yeah, we can actually take the robe and hat. What do those look like? Oh, and we're gonna also take that. 
What do those look like on, uh, on you? <laughs> yeah, so everything's... Oh. Oh. <clears throat> well. I really like her, um, her outfit. It's cool. And the kid. Uh, sad. You want me to put the rubs on? Yeah, let's, let's see what this looks like. Aw, oh, yeah. Look how skinny my legs are. Ah, oh, that's a good look. That is a good look right there. <laughs> All rise for the Church of Smite. Oh my. Okay then, nice. Nice look. Actually, we're gonna just have to uh, do a screenshot of that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. By the way, what is uh, this stuff? This is light armor. Just curious what it looks like. I'm still wearing the hat. Okay, there you go. Okay, that's um, that's what what that what our good friend was wearing. Why am I carrying around the stone of the forebears? Hmm. Interesting. It's just fabulous. Indeed. Debella enters chat. <laughs> Chad Bella, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I don't think I need to see what it looks like on her. I'm sure it's not going to look much better. Hello, Zorin. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, you came in right at the right time. Oh, F5. believe how much freaking health she had and it's so annoying when she keeps respawning with full health again meh okay so that is completed we can go back and talk to Di Dinya and we also need to return the beacon still that's right Zorin it is a, it's actually based on QuickSave TV's Paladin of Stendar from 10 years ago. I've been wanting to play it for a long time, so I finally did it. This is a, um, an adamant version of it though. Heavily modded, obviously. But yeah, basically Vigilant of Stendar, or Paladin of Stendar. Cross dresser of Stendar confirmed. That was a good look. Definitely going to post that on the uh, Skyrim porn Reddit. That is really unfortunate, Raze. Gotta actually do work. Oh, work stuff at work. Can't watch streams at work. You really need, need to get a um, a job where you're just watching streams. Mm 
Stendar's gender norms be upon you, for the vigilance have none to spare. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. There's the fugitive again. But I can't... Mm -hmm. I can't interact with her. Work for YouTube. Or Twitch. Yes, indeed. Hey, Clemic, How's it going, Good bud? You again. How's things going with Fastred? Need something. Your boots are untied. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, hope that never gets old for Fastred. All right, dudes. Let's see. I guess is there a is there a carriage here? Does the I kind of don't think the mod adds one. Yeah, there's not going to be one around here, is there? Well, that's sad. Oh, that would make sense, Naya. Figures. I, I usually, when I have the quest to do these fugitive or uh, thief uh, things or whatever, I have... Uh, you know, no end of problems trying to find them. Now when I don't have the quests. Uh, it looks like we've got a long... A long run either way. What is this? Oh, that's returning the, um... The beacon. Vigilant drag queens confirmed. I mean, I guess I, I want to return here. Yeah, let, let's do it. We're going to have to gonna have to huff it. One way or the other, we got to get back to town. No, um... Trouble? Nope. Boat here. Is there? Oh, wait. Hey, there is. Oh, nice. We don't have to walk all the way. Good evening. Where are you headed? Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Cool. Fast travel by boat. So nice. If you go to the end that the letter says they visit frequently, just wait there for an hour, they'll be they'll arrive. Okay. I'll have to try that next time. Because I kinda avoid those quests because I've had so many problems not being able to find the people. So we'll give that a go. Alright, let's talk to Dinya. Never seen the old is upset about anything. You are thirsty. In what way? Is it a thirst that can be quenched by Mara's love? Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Well, hello. I helped the young lovers in Iverstead. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells but brings life and nourishment to all. Does Mara require any more of me? I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone, 
needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Okay. What are we doing for money? Nah, I don't think we actually made much money doing that. Great. Now, we spent the entire day. Let's go ahead and uh, rest up here, actually. Anything interesting on here? Thief. Fugitive. Well. That's an East March, though. That's not the Rift. That's another thief. Deliver a weapon to Shore's Stone. Nah, that's fine. You've played Skyrim for 10 years and have never finished Mara's questline. Well, I do have to actually finish it because I want that 15% magic resistance. So we'll give that a go and see how it goes. What do you need? Have your uh, chance to, to uh, see it happen now. Lie. Got the coin? You're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. How many le Ah, those leads don't pay very well. Short like to rent a room. A Iverstead is in East March. Really? Yeah, the magic resistance isn't like amazing or anything. For this particular character, it'll be pretty useful. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Oh yeah, grilled leeks and a honey nut treat. Nice. Come back and see us again. <laughs> Hello, Erica. Hmm. Until next time. Just casually looks like a vampire hanging out. Why don't they listen? What's the matter? I thought you people. Why don't they do as I say? You afraid of me, Black Briar? Get your breath. Say that again. So, so the notice there was for you that fugitive in bone mold armor. Really? I'll tell you one thing. If you don't make peace huh. with them soon, yeah. you make it. Mages are a pain in the butt. Alright, let's have some how how hungry am I? Peckish. Have some ale. And I'm still thirsty. Grilled lakes. Oh yeah. Yum yum. Honey nut treat. That's going to have to carry me through. I'll have some water. Okay. And let's read. Study the ways of transmutation. Maven, so good to see you again. Hoist the flag and then celebrate with me. Move. It's always a pleasure when you're standing downwind of me. Sorry. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Maven, delightful as, Eddie, as ever. Favor with Stendar 200%. Oh, two mages with frostbite. Yeah. Let's do 10 hours again. What is going on downstairs? Must have run off, yep. Uh, medium meal. Have a bit more apple. There we go. All right, more 
studying. I know this is super exciting. Have I told you about Ballad, my dear? I love when you spin that yarn. It gets better every time you add something new. He killed six Imperial Guards before they dragged him into the prison. Was this before or after the Mythic Dawn attacked the Emperor and Valen single-handedly fought them off? Just shut up and drink, Romlin. Oh, and our favor slipped away overnight. So sad. Okay. Well, that's that. Let's go... Let's go turn our, um, the beacon in. I'm not exactly sure which beacon. I hope it's just going to transfer it automatically. Otherwise, I got to try and find it. Oh, it's this one. Praise Meridia, I think. Hey, Hanson, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Carriages to all the cities in Skyrim. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to the Pale. Went straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Back, take me to we'll won't you take me to Dawnstar? You ever met one of them attacks? Ajit, they call themselves. Find out just how I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Oh, the ascendant necromancy killed you with one lightning bolt. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we need to go to the temple. Yeah, throw on some fortify restoration potions before you use the vanilla Atronax stone and Basically, magic is an mag magic users are a non-issue, just like that. Yeah, cast up is un is surprisingly difficult. doing for perk points Ugh. pressing the wrong thing 12 perk points I think we need to uh, head back to Stendar's shrine I think it's called the shrine and uh, go load up on some new vigilant perks Talk to that guy at some point. Um, ah, ah, it's in here. Perfect. I think it's this one. Potion of pickpocketing, 100 gold, hawks, egg, and salmon row. All right. Did that give me another perk, by the way? Or uh, it probably just gave me devotion. Oh, yeah. More perks. All the perks. I don't care about this stuff, it's fine. Perks, just give me perks. Which is seducing people.
Lost Relic. Have, is, are there any of these that I haven't done? Piper. The Holy Pipers, led by the sacred Anatomancer, are an apostate group of blasphemers misusing the name of Stendar. Destroy these blasphemers and stop them from defiling the name of our divine. Okay. Not sure if I've done that one before. Banner Mist Tower. It's a long way away anyway. Yeah, I've been saving up perks because there's so many, uh, so many freaking perk levels in, uh, at that shrine. Uh, Oathgird, do you mind not doing that? Witch Hunter. Witch Hunter? Orphans kept by the cats are imbued with radiance. It torments them and defiles their innocence. Now's the time for redemption. I can't remember what I use Radiance for. Do any of you guys know in chat? I'll accept this, but I can't remember, um... Slay the Witch Hunter in Hag's End. That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh my. Palace of Radiance. Ah! Well, there you go. More perk points. All the perk points. So we got a quest in Markarth. We've got Banner Mist and Hag's End. Okay. And then we need to go here to the Shrine of Stendar. We also need to go to the Witch Hunter's Camp and turn in these trophies. Then, what's Forgotten Wellspring? And then there's Banner Mist Tower down there to deal with. Uh, I guess we could go down to Falkreath and then hit this and then head up here. Sure. Let's do that. That will be the way we wrap up the stream, I guess. Go and head up, head up a few things. Go spend a whole pile of perk points. Yeah, I do the same thing, Naya. Basically, custom build a mod list for a build. Unless I'm doing a series and I want some in like some common elements for each build in that series. I guess, and when I mean this, when I say a series, I mean like a series of build, of like related builds. You'd have to have a pretty... I guess, I guess if you want to do like multiple builds, like say you had like a Requiem mod list and then you wanted to do several different builds using that so you can kind of explore the whole mod, I guess that would, that would make sense to just use the same mod list. But normally, you normally you're you're using you know various back and we'll be off. various armors and 
maybe magic mods or whatever, weapon mods and things like that for that specific character, right? So it makes sense to just have to, to build a new mod list for each playthrough, even though it takes a long time. Yeah, so I need to actually, I didn't realize, but I, I do actually need to carry around some some stamina potions. In fact, health potions are not that big of a deal. It's more like magic and stamina. Because my, um, even with respite, I do have respite, right? I'm not like being a complete dummy and running around with no... Um, wait. Oh, yeah, there. But, uh, fast healing doesn't, since it's a concentration spell now, it doesn't actually regenerate stamina that quickly. See you later, Simon. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you could join us for uh, quite a while. And also, hello, Pyrosols. I did start streaming early, two hours early, if you can believe that. Um, are we... yeah. And also, welcome. Glad you could join us. Yep, did the Vigilant bonus fight. Good grief, that, that Hagraven, first of all, everybody was very smitten with her because she's so, uh, oh, there's a lot of over there. Um, not mages, but a lot of, a lot of bandits. Uh, everybody was smitten with her because of her stylish hat. PCO cast hates people who work, confirmed. Oh, good god, I'm almost dead. That, that mage over there. We were just talking about mages. Can I sneak up on her? Okay. Is down. There's more mages, though. Okay. Another mage down. Do some healing. Wow! Okay, there's still a nice mage over here. Let's just do two. Oh! And I ran right through them. Look at how hot this That's another mage. Stop healing. Piper of Stendar. Well, with that hat. Stop healing. Oh, sorry, dog. Stop healing. 
Ah! Used all our stamina. Yeah, see my... Oh. That, it, oh yeah, it does help regenerate stamina a little bit faster, but it's not, it's not great. We still have more? Oh, we still have somebody else in the tower? Oh, it's a priest. Whoa, whoa. Well, that's, that's an interesting technique. I'm so sorry, Pyrosols. <laughs> At least there's the VOD. Oh, I didn't. No, I should not have taken money from her. Oh, there's still more. An archer now? Ah. Okay. Are, are we done? Did, did we actually get them all? Oh, those swamp mon monsters were ridiculous. Somebody was mentioning that they are from, um, was it Magus? Mentioning that they're from Shivering Isles. I had completely forgotten about them from Sh Shivering Isles. Right, it's Daedra. What is that? Rogue Mage Trophy? Okay. I might need that. I think it might have been just, just that guy. So many mages here, too. I like this one with the... Uh, Heavy armor. That was cool. Ooh, Raphael's been doing a Sorcerer Supreme. Like Doctor Strange, cool. Very cool. Yeah, those swamp monsters, though, good grief. Just endless. And then she keeps re she keeps healing herself, too. What an annoying fight. She wasn't doing that much damage, although with, um... If she got enough range, then she started slinging fireballs, and that was, that was painful. All right, let's go. Place marker there. Perfect. Um, we'll go through here. It foreshadows, oh. Yeah, not paying that close attention to the dialogue, sadly. But it foreshadows the rest of the vigil Vigilant playthrough. Okay. Maybe I should go back and watch that. Because, you know, during the fight I was not paying that much attention. Mage with heavy armor, battle mages for the win. Gonna be my first, first uh, in the Alien series that I'm doing with Bellosaurus. Mine's gonna be he heavy armor. Unfortunately, my trusty dog and companion were uh, able to, to deal with most of the, at least keep a lot of the um, swamp monster things off my back. Come on over there. Able, able to keep them kind of off my back a little bit so I could concentrate on her, but you know, I'd like attack her, get her down to like 3,000 health, and she would uh, disappear and re uh, heal up and uh, annoying. 
There's a fight going on over there. Just fights everywhere. Don't worry about foreshadowing because this playthrough became a genocide run three streams ago. I thought it was four streams ago. Could have sworn. I did not find the hunter's magic gun. What the heck is that? And of course, I never played Bloodborne, so I wouldn't get the reference anyway. Oh, look at that hunter go. He's after Sabercat hide. Zebracat actually ran away from him? Really? That's it. We're pushing them back. Oh! No, no, you do not start attacking my dog. You, you, you die. You, you attack my dog, you die. Oh, and there's, there's a fight going on here with... Oh. Oh, that was just the saber cat. What? What happened there? Banded highwayman archer. So not a... Not a hunter. Okay. Interesting. I ran past the corpse. Ah. Damn. So, either go back and get the set, or wait for Act 2 of Vigilant and look in every corner. Look in every corner? That doesn't sound like me. Alright, so we're here for... communing with Stendar. So we're at level... 62. Okay. Um, we can reduce damage taken from guards and vigilance by 25% while wearing an amulet of Stendar. Also, reduces damage dealt to guards and vigilance. Uh, exorcist weapons deal 6% more damage to undead. Weapons deal 3% more damage to ghosts. Present more damage to vampires. Um, take 6% uh, less damage from undead. Reduce damage from ghosts. Reduce damage from vampires. Ward spells are more effective. Increases stagger resistance by 10% while wearing the amulet of Stendar. I need to have my amulet on. I think I've been wearing that amulet for the um, the penance quest for so long. Uh, turn undead spells are more effective. Attacks ignore 10% of armor while wearing an amulet of Stendar. Reduces fall damage. Wow, oh, there's like so much good stuff. Um, let's increase our stagger resistance. Actually, let's just increase it all the way. We got, we have, well, we had 17 perks, and we're also going to be able to get more, because we're doing some side quests. Turn on dead spells, 15% more effective. That is powerful. We should probably do more damage to ghosts. A strength build with the arm of Amidala is very fun. Is that from Bloodborne? I do not have a PlayStation. 
I had a PlayStation 2 once upon a time. It might actually be around somewhere, but that's as far as I got with play with uh, consoles. It's actually the only console I've ever owned. Uh, we'll do less damage from ghosts, less damage from vampires. Um, ignoring armor. Less damage taken. I'll do 10%, that's good. Uh, increase resistance to drain spells. How do I... Do I have to get this to unlock that? Yes. That sounds good. And the blood of... Anu reduces damage taken from Daedric weapons. Reduces damage taken from Daedra. See, this is why I've been saving up so many perk points. Because there are so many perks in this tree. Sun spells more effective. Do I get that if I... If I take this? Yes. 15% is a big boost. Bloodborne plays faster because Dark Souls, uh, or it's all about dodging uh, as opposed to Dark Souls. Gotcha. I'm going to be playing uh, Neo. I have the complete edition. I got it on, uh, on a epic giveaway. So that's the closest to a Dark Souls Bloodborne type of game that I have, I think. Do I want to spend any perk points in here? Power of the Light requires 80. Um, healing spells are stronger based on missing health. Healing spells affect all allies within 25 feet at half strength when dual cast. That's nice. Yeah, 25% bonus to armor rating when wearing three pieces. Nice. Take that. Okay. Okay. The only other thing we have to do, and I think I'm going to actually go over there. We're not going to go in and turn the trophies in right now, but I am going to go over here so I remember that that's what I need to do. We're going to go and uh, stop by... The Witch Hunters Guild. Broccoli build. Oh. Oh no. Why? Oh, did it not save? Oh, uh, don't tell me I got to do all that again. Oh, dropped frames. What is happening? Whoa, getting massive dropped frames. And Skyrim broke at the same time. Are we back? Hello? Are we alive? What the heck was that? My Skyrim shut down and then I had 1400 dropped frames in the space of like five seconds. Did I did I save after I after I did this? Please, I did not save. 
Ah, well, I'm glad you guys are here. Oh, I can't believe it. Ugh. Okay, let's do that again. Um, let's do that. Try to do this quickly. Actually, you know what? I'll do this off camera so you guys don't have to worry about it. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me today. Ran a little bit over time, but we started early, and that was kind of cool. So, uh, the plan is... I'm not going to make any promises, because I did struggle to actually uh, get started uh, this morning. But I'm going to try to stream um, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time again. We will probably play Biomutant, though. So... Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I'm sorry for the change in time. It was a little bit, uh, a little bit strange, and I'm sorry that uh, internet shut down there right at the end. Uh, huge thank you to Jimmy for the donation during the stream, and also another thank you to GG for his donation in between the streams that he uh, made on PayPal. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate the support. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you guys are in the world. And take care.